Homeless shelters and empathy. I want to share a little bit of a story with you about when I was in a homeless shelter and some of the things that I saw in human nature and empathy, or in this case, sometimes lack thereof. It's a good story, so stay tuned. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. I used to stay in this homeless shelter called Joy Junction back in the day. Not really that long ago, but there was this girl. She obviously had mental issues. Um, she didn't talk, but every single night she would cry herself to sleep. When I say cry herself to sleep, I don't mean sobbing. I mean this heart-wrenching, wailing cry. And in the homeless shelter, a lot of people would tell her, you know, just shut up, they would scream. Go to bed, be quiet, fuck you, and any other number of derogatory shit that you can think of. But I would lay there quietly and wonder what had hurt her so bad. And it would break my heart when I hear those cries because I have empathy and compassion. And that's something that you can't lose. And I understand the people that were yelling. You get so consumed with survival in yourself that you don't know any other way. I know. I have been there. That has been my life. But I've never lost my compassion or my empathy. And even to this day, I wonder... I wonder if she got better. I wonder if she found the help. And I wonder what had hurt her so bad that she would cry like that every night. It was a gut-wrenching cry. Empathy is something that you shouldn't lose. It's something you should have and you should nurture. There's nothing wrong with empathy. Empathy will help you understand. Which is kind of what the human nature is. We're supposed to be able to understand and have empathy and realize that we all have hopes, we all have dreams, we all have fears. So what brought this up was a comment on the last channel that I made, or the last video that I made of get off the pity pot. It's not really a pity pot, I'm quite isolated. I don't really have anybody to talk to, so for me it's therapy. And yes, I get emotional because I don't have anywhere to let my emotions loose, so when I do, I let them loose. I have to. So to the person that said, get off the pity pot. I'm not on a pity pot. I'm on a healing pot. I'm trying to heal myself emotionally. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to love myself. I don't know how to heal myself. But I do know that having someone to talk to, even if it's just a camera and reading words, it helps. Empathy and compassion. They aren't bad things. They're, they're good things. They're needed things. They're things that I don't think we have enough of in today's world. I've always had a lot of empathy and a lot of compassion. I feel things deeply, and I'm sorry for that if that makes you feel like I'm on a pity pot, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to heal. Maybe I can help heal somebody else. That would be awesome. But even if I don't, I still have to heal myself. And I don't have any other way to heal myself but this. So this is what I do. I talk to you. And I read your comments. Empathy and compassion. They aren't bad things. I wonder if that girl is okay. I sure hope so. I would hate to think of her going through a lifetime of pain like that. Who knows? Anyways, I'm going to film random shit because I need to talk. This 
not talking. This keeping everything in is bullshit. I can't do it. It hurts. It hurts. Mentally and physically. Like, literally physically. If you'll notice, I probably look a little bit thinner. I haven't really eaten in... I guess, three days. So hungry, I'm shaky. But I'll get over it. I'll get it. I ate a hot dog this morning. Yeah, half a hot dog. It's a start. But it's a healing process, and it's a process. And just bear with me. I'd like to share my life, and I'd like to be able to talk to you guys. And read your guys' comments. I enjoy it. It heals me. And I thank you for it. Even the negative comments, yes. <laughs> because it's conversation. It's human interaction. Yeah. That's all I got for now. And I'll, I'll put up another video later. Maybe today. But definitely this, this evening, I think. Just let you know how my day's going. And you guys can comment on how your day's going. And we can communicate. I enjoy it. I like it. I really do. My hand's shaking so bad I can't keep the damn camera straight. <laughs> but empathy and compassion. It's not really a pity pot. So, to the commenter, I understand where you're coming from. Get off the pot. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. I know. We all know. We've all said it. We've all heard it. But at some point in our life, we've all been in that position where we just need something to heal. We just need someone to listen. Anyone to listen to us. And this is me. Looking for someone to listen. So. It's not a pity pot. It's a healing pot. <laughs> so. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to tell you how my day went when my day is over. Now I want to know how your guys' day went. Was it good? Anything interesting happened? Anything bad happened you want to talk about? I'm here for you just like you're here for me. I got you guys and you guys got me. as or Whatever that's worth. I love you guys. You're, you're there for me. Even if you're not there for me. If you know what I mean. That's it. I appreciate you guys. I do. And thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for your bad comments. Thank you for making fun of me. Because it's still human interaction. It's still commenting. Freedom of speech and all. I appreciate the fact that you're using your speech to portray your opinion. But I can also use my speech speech to say, hey, you know, I, I know it looks one way, but I have to heal. And I don't know how to heal. I never really had the opportunity to heal. I've always been so consumed with survival. I came up from the streets, like the streets, homeless, eating out of dumpsters. So I've never, never really had the opportunity. I, I mean, from 16, I was on the streets. So I never really had the opportunity to learn how to love myself or how to heal. So I'm learning so just bear with me, damn it. Bear with me. I love you guys. You're awesome, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.